Hey folks, it's Matt. I want to talk to you about expression bodied members in C sharp. Okay, so here is a fairly standard C sharp class, the way I would have written it for about .NET 2 onwards back in the early 2000s. Uh, and this class represents a game object. It's got a name, some hit points, some current hit points and maximum, and then a couple derived or calculated properties. Is dead should be true if current hit points is less than or equal to zero, and is full hit points should be uh, true only if current hit points is equal to the maximum. It also has a single line take damage method that de detracts or, or decrements the current hit points by the damage amount and returns an integer. Now, I could add a little bit more validation to this method in particular, but I'm intentionally keeping it a little simple here. Now, this is a fine class. This class works just fine. But this is a good opportunity for us to talk about expression bodied members. And you have to remember that programmers are lazy and we like to write as little as lines, lines of code as possible. So while I wrote is dead here, uh, is this, this, this way right here, I could actually represent it slightly differently and go in here and represent it as uh, current hit points is less than or equal to zero. It's a GitHub Copilot getting a little aggressive with me. So here, this is a single line method that says, hey, uh, this is this property here. It's a get only or calculated property that's gonna re always return the value of current hit points is less than or equal to zero. This is exactly identical to what I previously had here, okay? But it's in a single line of code. Now, this is such a cool feature that Microsoft actually gives us a nice way of moving it to a single line of code. Um, I, I'm having some very nice <laughs> assistance for my tooltips because I've configured my options in such a way, which I'm gonna write about in the future, but I could also bring up my nice little hammer icon and say to expression body and I convert it to a single line method here. I can do the same thing here and convert all of my methods down. Now, I tend to like to structure my methods and properties uh, like this, where I have the, the fat arrow or chunk arrow on a single line of code and then the implementation of the, on the next line. That tends to be a little bit easier to scan uh, for me than trying to read this whole line here and seeing two arrows pointing in two different directions at current hit points. Syntactically, it's the same, but my mind is easy. It makes it easier to parse it this way. Now, if you see expression bodied member code, you really can rewrite it in your mind as just a, uh, a body with a single thing. So here I can use that same uh, two statement body tooltip. Um, I can click on here as well, uh, or control period brings up the, the shortcut for that as well. Uh, it's really up to you and your team as to which you'd like better. Um, I tend to use a lot of the expression bodied members myself when I'm writing on my own code, but I know it does freak out new developers, so I tend to use it a little bit less, less frequently when I'm using code that I'm going to be sharing, especially with the more junior members of my team, right? So you have to keep these things in mind, but you do get, uh, you do get actually a lot of, a lot more logic on your screen when you're using uh, expression bodied members because you have less code and less space in your screen devoted just to syntax. So that's an advantage. There's plenty of advantages and disadvantages with everything in tech. Uh, but if you encounter expression bodied members or if you'd like to make your code more concise, yeah, this is an option for you. But let me know what you think. Let me know what your opinions are. Um, let me know if you're curious about my configuration for Visual Studio because it's, uh, it's fluid and a little bit different. But happy coding and uh, enjoy Lambda expressions.